I mean, thank God okay. Lee showed up when he We're did. bonding. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I'm a criminal. Uh, hi guys, my name is Shadow into any key playing The Walking Dead. And yeah, that, uh, if you didn't see the last episode, uh, yeah, at the end, I was deciding, trying to decide who am I giving these four rations that I have between these nine people, apparently, not ten, like the game said. I'm still kind of looking for that tenth guy that I can give food to, but I just see nine. Uh, okay. But yeah, I think my guess is, I, I think one is going to go for Clementine, but because, yeah, she said she was hungry. I'm weak to her, so she has to have one. Um, then I think I'm going to give one to each of the leader families member but not not but not the leaders i might give one to duck well duck or katya yeah, actually i don't kind of i kind of don't like duck <laughs> um um and i might give one to larry just to make lily happy <laughs> um uh, I don't really like Larry, but um, I don't know. I kind of want to stay in the middle of the fence, like Kenny said last episode. You know, <laughs> I don't know how for how long that's gonna stay like that. But yeah, and the rest, I guess, is either Mark or Ben or Carly is the other options. Let's let's start with this. <laughs> uh, claim, you get one because you're a good girl. Okay. Yeah, claim. You need something to eat. Um, have an apple. I don't know what you like, girl. Uh, I have four, right? Crackers and cheese. Okay, a Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Okay. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, uh -huh. why don't we didn't get some food. Okay, I was kind of inclined for Katya, but uh, <laughs> why? Why you do this? There are three. Yes, I know there's three left. Um, why you do this to me? Claim. Okay, I'll give it to your Frank just because you asked me. Um. Yeah. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? It would be nice if I could know who had uh, food last, you know, like the previous day or something, to make it more fair. But look at this man. Look at this man. <laughs> um, you get a half an apple. <laughs> oh heck yes! Is there peanut butter? What do you think, Duck? Duck and his family. No, probably not appreciate that okay two pieces i think i'm gonna go with larry or Li uh i think lily would like it more if i give it to larry so i'm gonna give him to larry and he said he was hungry too and then the rest is gonna be i'm trying to decide with, between ben carly and uh, and mark um like gave Mark the axe, so he has that, okay? So Ben or... I think Lily wouldn't like if I give it to Ben because they're the new guys and they shouldn't be here, apparently. So maybe I'll give it to Carly. Maybe. Yeah. Here, Larry. Um... Piece of jerky... Yeah, I give him the jerky because he's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. Oh man, just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Well, Mark, I I gave you the axe, my man. <laughs> I gave you the axe. Um, save the last piece of food for someone else. Keep the last piece for yourself. No, someone else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Dude, you have my axe. You have protection. So, 
I'm sorry, Mark. Uh, and I don't know you that well either. So, Carly, I guess you're... Yeah, this guy, this is a new... I don't know if he... He might have a eaten before we found them, so... I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, Carly, you have the last one. Want something to eat? Uh, yeah. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay, I guess not Carly then. Can we talk to her? Back in a bit. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, she don't want any. Uh, uh, you put me in a tough... Uh, should I give it to Ben or Mark then? Um, ben or Mark? <laughs> look at, look at how Lee's looking at him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big choice here. <laughs> All right. Um, Lee or Ben or Mark, Ben or Mark, Ben or Mark. Ah, shit, dude. I think, um, I think I'm giving it to Mark then. Because, like I said, Ben is the new guy, uh, 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 and he gave me a bad look here, so... Sure. Here, eat something. There you go. Thanks, Lee. Okay, I don't know if that was the smartest of choices in distribution. Not such but... an easy job, is it? Yeah. Never said it was. What was that shot? <laughs> I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kitty, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. Uh -huh. That's what a real man does. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still. I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Um. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh, God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go. Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what the? Uh, no. <clears throat> Oh my god. Uh, uh. What? What? Oh, I'm doing this. Move, uh. move! Dude. Dude. I need your help, buddy. Come on. Uh. No. Use a left stick to get away. Okay, go, okay, go, okay, go. Okay. No. Uh, my God, dude. What are you doing, Mark? Carly. My savior again. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You said he wasn't bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? 
That's what Wait, happens. You don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. Uh -huh. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's going to happen to all of us. Uh, we're all infected. All infected. Everyone. I, I guess so. I don't know. I, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Oh. More people. Whoa, lady, oh, relax. Oh, God. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Oh. Uh, are you, are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. The dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. That's Our generators fancy. run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh, me. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Okay. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Um... Uh... Um, hmm. Okay. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Hmm. And that's not exactly so what I wanted, dairy. but okay. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. I don't know if that was a smart decision. For a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Hmm. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Um. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You've got to let go of that guilt. The Lee I know is a good man. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? Um. You know what happened. Mm -hmm. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Yeah, true. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God okay. Lee showed up when he We're did. bonding. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I am a criminal. Uh, I move, move around. around? Hard to call any place home, I guess. I used to move around a bit myself, but the dairy will always be home to me. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Um... Democracy. We work as a group, all of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? That's a lot of questions. Enough. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. 
In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mm -hmm. Mom's been running a dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shake it down. What is no happening? To cut you out of oh. Anything. You and Gary are always pulling the bandits. Who? Oh. Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who oh, are they? Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, you know what? more. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Whoa! Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Oh my God! Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Wow. <laughs> These men are crazy. Alright. Um, damn. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I trust this dairy people. <laughs> Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Yeah, for how long? I'm going to assume that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of gas. I feel like, I feel like that wouldn't last that long. Uh, we can't have the kids around the fence. Her ex have accidents? accidents? Nah, it's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You'd never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He moves around a lot, but things the way they are maybe we can convince them to stick around for a while mm. they got a few more friends staying at the old motel oh my goodness that place is pretty vulnerable have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group uh we work together we all work together plus we've got plenty of people with military experience well that's good to hear that motel ain't the safest place now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh, the rest of us? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These uh -huh. are y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Yeah? A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Okay, Mark, you go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Mark, you're Why taking it a bit too far, I feel. Round up everyone for the trip over here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Okay. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make sure the place is safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. 
But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Mm -hmm. right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Alright, St. John. Okay. We have things to explore, I guess. Uh, let's talk to Mark first. Uh, Mark is a bit excited about this place, I feel. I don't know, I don't know, it seems a bit, um, like he makes rush decisions, I don't know, I don't know, man. Let's talk to him. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Okay, I guess I need to go around the place and check things. But I think I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. Yeah, I think that was enough for one episode. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it actually. Oh, we can use the gate. Let's check over here first. Let's check the swing for the last thing we do. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, how did it break? How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay. I'm gonna need some rope. And there's got to be a board around here I can use as a seat. Oh. Uh -huh. We're fixing things already? Okay. Anyway. Can I electrify myself? No. Okay. There's invisible walls everywhere. Alright. But yeah. I think I'm gonna call it there. Uh, yeah. We have we have to check this place. I don't know if I fully trust this whole place yet. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, we have some drama going in the... <laughs> back in the motel and all that um i don't know i, I kind of got lucky there with kenny like that i gave the thing to the kids the food so kenny's on our side i don't know about uh, lily i don't know i don't know and we're bonding with carly which i don't dislike she's cool she saved me again <laughs> again today so yeah i like her She's really useful with that gun. I think I think I said that earlier on the series. But yeah, I don't dislike getting close to Carly. She seems cool. I think she's the one that I trust the most of everyone, I feel. So yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, for now I'm gonna be ending this episode here. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave a like and let me know what you think of the video in the comments. And subscribe to the channel if you wanna follow these series and the other ones that I'm doing as always. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!